in the final exercise, you're going to write a different function that calls for a different pattern of recursion. It comes back to when we were making the template for processing two inputs, each of which has two cases. Remember that when we make a recursive call, one or both of the inputs could get smaller. When you designed drop and when I designed take, it turns out that we want both inputs to get smaller at the same time. We want the number to become smaller and we also want the list to become smaller. But when we're merging two lists, we're gonna take one element at a time from one of the two lists. The lockstep recursive call is not useful. It's going to turn out that you're gonna use sometimes a recursive call that makes one input smaller, but not the other, and other times a recursive call that makes the second input smaller, but not the first. And that's the most important thing about designing this next exercise function, merge.